Moshi Moshi, my baby gamers, and welcome back to Honkai Star Well, the Chai Festival is about to begin, and you pretty much completely cleared out the Wizard Fizzbeal. What? You said you wanted to sense a perversion? Well then, there's still a while before your opening sale exam submissions. You may as well take a stroll around, find a seat if you're tired, and hold a tight for an opening ceremony. Today, we're gonna go to the ceremony. So, optional, with her chest. <gasps> is that a bird up here? Danger detected. <laughs> But never let your guard down. And no firefly. Captain's orders. Head to port. Full spear ahead. Go, go, go. All head on deck, tweet. Do you ever know who Captain Hill? Tweet, tweet. I always dream of being captain. I'm totally Captain Mateo, tweet. Ah, I forgot to even two crew members. Tweet, tweet. I can't without ship. How embarrassing. And here I was so excited. Oh, no, I can feel my chicks spawning. I'm going to bury my underneath my wings for a while. Did not know that would happen. And don't tell the other buds. Um. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Can I go inside? I don't think I could go in there, so. Another chest up here? What? So, other guests, as in, I'm gonna guess you have to go over here. That is my completely guess. And that's where I'm going right now. Oh, look, it's Topaz. Is that even. Should I even be near Topaz? She's just scrolling down to TikTok, apparently. Oh, well, wait. If it isn't my old friend, it hasn't been long, and yet here we are again. <laughs> I, How are you? I actually forgot I was being the main character. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm in. Job change? Ah, oh, no, no. Life is as wonderful as ever. That's what I thought. I heard you guys pulled off a big stunt, cutting down the Oak family in one fell swoop. <sighs> Such a pity I couldn't be there, or else I would have lent a helping hand. <laughs> Look how bustling this ship is. Not bad. Someday when I'm less tied up, I plan to host a grand party on my eco ship, and you'll all be on the guest list. Hmm. Uh, I want to ask about your question about the uh, transform. Transform? What are you saying? Oh, I, I understand now. You're referring to Aventurine's cornerstone, right? <sighs> Sorry. Compared to him, my ability is not as visual. <sighs> Guess there is no harm telling you. The abilities of the Ten Stone Hearts' as cornerstones are all different. Some can even read your thoughts, grasp your desires, so be careful. Uh, now that I think about it, it was good that Branya got there when she didn't Bellabog. <laughs> if she came any later, we probably wouldn't have ended up as friends. Was that one out of five? Oh, it is. Um, so I gotta look around and find more guests around? services. What about Jade? Are you? Ooh. Oh, I get the chest now. I should have done the no camera. Detected, but never uh, let your guard down. Hey, Jade, I'm back. Hey there, lovely Hi. guy. Welcome to the Bonnet Jade Exchange. You just call me lively guy. What the what hell? What should I call you? Why would I say March seventh on that Sunday? I'm gonna say I'm careless. What a unique name. So, Mister. What do you wish for? And what are you willing to sacrifice for it? My cock! Um, Make Nico bow down to me? What? I'm just curious, what does that mean? Oh, this is your wish. Yeah? Lady Bonje doesn't even blink. You're guessing she doesn't have any sense of humor. Sounds simple enough. Very pragmatic. Then... Let's discuss the cause. I was joking! I was joking, clearly! I'm listening. To fulfill this wish, the thing I need is simple. The tail of an animal. Sounds easy enough. Well, it's a two-legged animal with black fur, a round head, and long ears. It's omnivorous and is prone to mood swings. Most importantly, it has mastered the human language and can communicate. Bring its tail to me as collateral, and your dreams will come true. 
It seems that like Bond is not without any sense of humor. You have to admit, your skills is using dark humor is superior to yours. Hopefully, there are scissors on the express. <laughs> May fate bring us together again, Mr. Trailblazer. Um, I was. That was a joke. Yeah, I think they're talking about. I've been talking about Numbi. Oh, I don't like that. They're probably talking about Numbi. <laughs> it's like, um. Numbi, can I cut your tail, please? Second or first floor? Um, I think the first floor? Unless I want. If it's not the first floor. Um, is that a jetty? Um, a jetty? Hold on a second, let me look around. Nah, no, never mind. I'll just go talk to him gently now. What is this a beautiful, shiny red knight doing here? Why is there no voice acting for this guy? Are you serious? We meet again, my dear friend. You do have to be this ever more elegant than mine. My most sincerely regards to you. Uh, sincerely regards to you, too, dear friend. Even after achieving such remarkable feasts, you remain humble and gentle. Such is the true mark of knightly grace. I have heard of your ability deed of lending others to vanquish the omen of evil. Though the town be of tingle of regret, you have undoubtedly champion, beauty and justice. May others smile upon you. Um, The omen of evil? Is it's in the middle of a beauty gets lost in the pool of power. They must deserve into the omen of evil, a form which is neither human or beast. Although Mr. Sunday did not cross path with the path of beauty, his actions were no different from the omen of evil. A limited soul loss of the path of righteousness, truly a matter of deep regret. Why were you not there during the final battle? I was ready to admit, NSG were too realistic. I couldn't be able to bid reveal to the fallen friend who had turned long turned into a beast. I lingered in the lizard dream for far too long. Ah, his voice and smiles were too red I didn't pass the trial of beauty this time. Spending much time in self-reflection over my own hesitation. Yet, I wished for an ideal to remain my beacon. A banner for me to strengthen my determination for the beauty. I hope you have fun the festival. Thank you, and may the beauty always be with you. Hmm. Okay. Um. So, I can sit right there if I wanted to. Oh. Okay. Um. Now, who else... I could be missing from talking. I hope I'll to Robin. Robin, are you here? No, I don't think Robin is even in here. Okay, we'll keep him here. Do you think do you think Robin could be here somewhere? That's I didn't see him. I didn't see what? Dr. Wichio? I wasn't expecting him to be here. Dr. Wichio, I was not expecting you. Ah, yes. I remember you. Your performance at Herta's space station was... adequate, I suppose. Hmm. No wonder that gambler likes you so much. Mm. Uh, do you know a fetching? This individual is my responsibility during the trip. Nothing more than an errand from the Office of Academic Affairs. Very well. The Charm Money Festival is about to commence soon. Uh, take advantage of this unique opportunity. A blend of work and play is essential for superior knowledge absorption. Hmm. How do you weigh of venturing? The executives of the IPC and the Guild say that we are strategic partners. Yet, from my perspective, I am invariably the teacher, and he, along with you and every other individual, is the student. From this perspective, Venturing isn't what you'd call an ideal student. Yet, he's also not utterly obtuse. Alas, the void within him can never be filled by talent and knowledge. <laughs> Let's hope he doesn't turn into a philosophical zombie. Hmm, I thought you were going to make me get in my act together. Ah. Saying such a thing merely indicates that you have not truly grasped the essence of learning. The principle of balancing work and relaxation is scientifically grounded, 
with the relevant proof process detailed on page 21 of the 31,467th issue of the academic journal Star Caesar. Acquiring knowledge aims to enhance living. Don't invert priorities like those dolts at the guild. I hope you have fun hmm. Then you'll excuse me. Yeah, digs. Then... I think we'll see what's down there, actually. So... Next on the list, it has to be Robin. Ooh, please be Song Robin. You gotta be a Song Will. Oh, she's possibly in the second floor? I mean, the first floor? That went to the first or the second? Yeah, second floor. Robin! <clears throat> Please tell me up there somewhere. You, you gotta be a somewhere, right? Oh, more chests around here. What? Tweet, tweet. Inspection complete. Check call for me, Nothing but I'm just Could it be outside the telescope to check? Telescope? The telescope feels a bird with it. If there's even a gaze upon the sky where you are surrounded by it, you don't understand it. So you decided to use the telescope. The sensory through the tongue is vast, so vast that even, I mean, it evokes some delusions in you. Floating among the clouds for too long would physically make one in the clouds, which isn't necessarily a good thing. At the mile for too long, you start feeling dizzy. Maybe a change of angle? Or you stop with the long? You decided to. Uh, look to the left. At 23 more, this could lead to the murder object the auto zooming. If it looks so small of an angle, even the being a pair of 12 towers look like chess pieces. The view gets to sense of mothers for some reason. Look to the right. The sensory to the tether is vast, so various angles some illusion to you. Floating among the clouds for too long will possibly make one of the clouds, which isn't necessarily a good thing. After my for too long, you study for dizzy. I already said this. Right again? The total lens for maximize efficacy to zoom in and out. You scoons and look at the ship on my silly wings and it's eye-catching moment. Catching, even high in the sky. The pits of the pencils, you can paint something on it. Ikuma might know about this. Whistle cruelly. Continue whistling. You hear a sound of wings flapping. Are you calling for me? Um, do you know me? Stay safe when you're flying. I'll play over the rest when I'm tired. Thanks for concern, Tweet. Dad, if there's anything else, I'll be up. Tweet, Tweet, Tweet. Um, you don't have to keep talking to me. I, I don't know what to say. I, I should be heading back. Goodbye, Tweet. Um, invisible chest? What am I missing? Wait, why is there a... Um, I don't know then. Why do you pull my ass out? I just got to the good part of the story. Ace dropping isn't right. Tweet tweet, I'm just quietly listening. They won't even know I'm here. A story like that is when sometimes I can rise in the from the world. And I'll fall like I blows. That's the nature of us birds, tweet. Oh no, I can feel someone stay at me. Tweet, I hate this continent. I'm out of here, tweet. Bye tweet, gotta breathe. The last cause of my two fast now. Um you too. <sighs> Super low. Okay, Robin has to be downstairs somewhere. What the fuck is she? Who's the last person that I could be missing? Because this right here is showing me. My guess that Robin has to be like down there somewhere. Because we're missing. Bold Hill. Um, actually, hold up. Okay, do not heal. What the frick is the others? I'll do with you guys. Just give me a set to find Robin or someone. Robin could heal someone well. Uh, Who's the fifth person? Then you're probably telling me that Robin is probably not the fifth person. Yank it off. You found me, Tweet. Congratulations! Lucky one! One of my most memorable stuff the way in first boy. I only sell pieces for my most precious collection here. Only these lucky enough to find a place I granted the rare chance to buy them. I can't believe they are hawkers on such a luxurious ship. L ship I mean. Magical fellows for sale to it. Let me call it a bit of only. Excuse me for those with an eye for the finger finder things in life. Don't bother asking with that if you. For the oh, for sale. Only the chill cause the eye. Huh? Where 
Oh, my father's. Oh, help it! I found the tails on the street. Oh, I'm so sorry for the worst trip, dear. Okay, I need to go up and find them to eat. What's it called? That? Robin! Who the fuck are you? I've been looking around the place. Are you inside? The Charming Festival has really been. Mm. What happened? Dog. Up, sing about some bullshit. It's all oh, that soldier. looks delicious. Um, maybe she's up here. Maybe she's up here. Wait, where's the chest though? Hey, excuse me. The song excuse me. Eh, I don't see you on no mouse, so my guess is the fifth person is not here. I'm gonna guess Bull Hill is the fifth guess. I'm going back to him. Bull Hill in the featuring the guy who can't even cuss. Remember, I can take you out with just one shot whenever I choose. <laughs> oh, that'd be my honor. Don't worry, I hate cheating at the table. <laughs> you better. Ah, look who's here. The great hero of the Astral Express. The most dazzling trailblazer in all of Panacone. Oh, oh you're here too. <laughs> Long time no see, friend. Hey, boot heel. Why are you... <sighs> Wait, hold on. Uh, do you always come to when you meet eventually? <laughs> Merely a greeting of platitudes. As long as you and I have an understanding. Well, let's set aside those under the table dealings for now, partner. Don't want to spoil the festive mood of the Charmony Festival. I agree. Now let's congratulate Mr. Trailblazer. I hear the family intends to thank the crew at the Charmony Festival. <sighs> it's a real pity I can't personally be there to witness this. Hmm. <gasps> you sure left in the hurry eventually. Well, my job was just to give the IPC an opening. Other things aside, I think I did a pretty good job at achieving this. Well, you were at Dreamflux Reef, we were actually close by. You wouldn't have been able to dig up so much dirty information without the help of a knowledgeable friend. But that emanator didn't pull any punches. <sighs> My body couldn't hold out too long. Otherwise, this would have been settled in a much cleaner manner. I'd like to thank you for all your help in the battle, cowboy. <laughs> no problem. And punishing the wicked and eradicating evil is a top priority. It would have been strange if we sat it out, making an entrance like that. Us Galaxy Rangers are making a comeback. Reckon you'll meet quite a few followers of the hunt on your journey. Do me a favor, pass on my regards, will ya? Shy? What are you guys shouting about? Oh, forget it. I'm not one to beat around the bush. I've got a score to settle with a high-ranking executive fella named Oswaldo Schneider. And this flamboyant fella here can help me find him. Uh, the feud between the Marketing Development Department and the Strategic Investment Department is well known across the cosmos. But what I didn't expect was the involvement of the Galaxy Rangers in this feud. Looks like things are about to get spicy. I hope you guys have fun at the festival! Thank you. And I also hope you enjoy yourself, great hero of Pinnacone. <laughs> I'll pass. But I do hope you guys have fun. If you don't mind, let's play a few rounds next time. Yeah, sure, eventually. It was him. Okay, now we're gonna sit down. You hungry, Numbi? Quick, squeak! Eat this donut! Quick, squeak! You don't want to eat this? Quick, squeak! What about this one? Quick, squeak! The other one? Squeak! Oh, we relax right here. I'm just laying you? Hmm, the festival hasn't started. Let's take a quick break. Hi, we meet again. Who's that? It's Firefly. It's really you. I knew I didn't get the wrong person. <gasps> oh! Uh, you saw me? Yes, it's just, I didn't get the chance to say hello. There's still some time before the Charmony Festival starts. Do you want to chat? You walk and talk with Firefly, stopping your chats when more comes to view. Two murder cases, a showdown with the IPC's ambassadors, the legacy of the Nameless, and a remnant of the Order who wishes to replace an eon-created paradise with a dream. You guys even ended up shattering the dream. <laughs> 
It's truly been quite a vacation. It's a good thing that you guys managed to overcome all those difficult problems. Congratulations! After the Charmony Festival's opening, will you guys be leaving again? Hmm... Um, I don't know where our next destination will be. <laughs> there will always be somewhere. After all, you guys are on the path of the Trailblaze. Before joining the Stellaron Hunters, Elio told me that this journey will tell me how to live on. That's all he said. As for the rest, it's up to me to find out. Hold hands! So, please? I'll pay extra attention Come to Come on, that's a nice view. Hold hands. Live on. <laughs> this trip to Penicone is no different. Hmm. Uh. Um. No wonder you were invest interested in investigating the watchmaker. Yes. Sadly, I was looking in the wrong place. But I did reap some rewards. Do you know Miss Jade from the IPC Strategic Investment Department? Bona Jade Exchange belongs to her. She told me her price. But. Uh, do you, do you take the deal? No, but what she wanted wasn't my answer either. Of course, I want to live on. But what fate owes me, I want it paid back, not passed on. No one else should be involved because this is a grudge between me and fate. Speaking of which, Actually, I feel that I still owe you a formal apology for that matter with the performer of the Iris family. Even the smallest of lies can turn into a betrayal as sharp as a blade. I'm sorry. Mm. No problem, you only apologize. It was an emergency, so I never had the chance to formally apologize to you. And admittedly, I was the one to blame. To me, hiding is much easier than being honest. Yet, I still want to try expressing my emotions as any ordinary person would. It's that girl! Get moving! Arrest that criminal before the Charmony Festival's opening ceremony starts! I can't believe they've chased me this far. Looks like we have to say our goodbyes. Don't worry about me. Just go and enjoy the ceremony. The script hasn't reached its end yet. We will meet again. <gasps> Give a kiss. Bye. Great. I hope she's okay. But if it's only those two hounds again, she'll probably be fine. That is idiot. Still, still. I'll send a message later to check in on her. Let's go attend the Charmony Festival first. Oh my God. Why? You never catch me alive, bitch! Oh, she is. She got away. What the hell is that commotion here? I'm trying to do my makeup. What's that fire? Oh my god, it's woman! Ah! Oh man, I want to fuck her in the pool, but I guess I can't do it now. Now we wait. Let's take a seat here. Everything is settled. But there's still some time left. Maybe I should take a walk. Wait. F mm, wait for all this to start. It. I've done enough walking around already. Let's take a seat and rest for a while. <gasps> Firefly! She tests me. It's me, Firefly. I got on hand, don't worry. I didn't do anything bad. I hated myself. Wait, is it pretty? I won't be able to see Miss Swans perform. <gasps> oh! Looks like I don't have to worry about her. Let's wait for the opening ceremony to start. Some time later. Oh, wow. there she is, it's Miss Robin. Hey, hey, Miss Robin. Hey, Miss Robin. Hey, over here, Miss Robin. Miss Robin. Miss Robin, 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 it's a pleasure to join you all in celebrating the grandest ceremony of the Amber Era, the Charmony Festival. Firstly, on behalf of the Penacone family's five major lineages, and on behalf of myself, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to all our guests. Woo! 
Yeah. As you all may have noticed, this year's Charmony Festival is far from regular. Thanks to the efforts of everyone, this celebration is unprecedented in scale, with factions from across the cosmos in attendance. Not only that, the customary opening ceremony held at the Penacony Grand Theater has now moved to the Radiant Feldspar, the very airship you all stand upon. We invite you to express your warmest applause and deepest appreciation for O.T. Alfalfa, head of the Alfalfa family, for his selfless devotion to the Harmony's cause. What makes this festival so uniquely significant? As is widely known, the Radiant Feldspar had to halt its voyage due to an anomaly in the Sweet Dream, sparking widespread discussion in the Twelve Hours. Thanks to the hard work of Penacony's internal and external factions, we've finally gotten the Dreamscape back on track, just in time for the Charmony Festival. And as they say, good things come in pairs. The Charmony Festival not only celebrates this achievement, but also marks the relaunch of the Radiant Feldspar. And finally, the last reason. Does everyone remember the Watchmaker? In truth, the family has poured their efforts into this festival just to commemorate this legendary luminary, the father of Penacony, Mikhail Char Legwork, one of the legendary nameless who laid the foundations of Penacony. That's right. In the most bewildering times of the planet of festivities, it was he who descended from the sky with his companions, who taught us through trailblazing where freedom lies. It was also they who led the vanguard in the pioneering of the dreamscape, in exchange for what is now known as the Paradise of Harmony. It can be said that Penacony's splendid success today is deeply rooted in the trailblazing ethos the Watchmaker planted within us. Only by honoring this trailblazing spirit can we fulfill our mission and spread harmony to a broader audience. Aww, that's so nice of her. She's talking about us. Hmm. This press call would have been dispelled longer if it wasn't for you. Um, I think I was joking. Am I? And now, the sweet dream is back on track. All thanks to the trailblaze, of course. Yeah! If it weren't for everyone on the Astral Express, we wouldn't be able to successfully host this Charmony Festival. Thus, with unanimous consent from the five major lineages, Penacony's family, on behalf of all family members throughout the cosmos, Offer a token of appreciation to the nameless. Oh, I wonder if it's gonna be a big one. We will transfer ownership of the Radiant Feldspar to the Astral Express. A meager appreciation that we hope you will accept with grace. Oh, Yeshua! Gift our applause and cheers to these brave and dauntless nameless. Yay! Nameless, nameless, nameless. Yeah, chat my name. I propose a toast to Harmony, to the Trailblaze, to the future of Penacony and the universe, and to the generous Alfalfa family head, Mr. O.T. Alfalfa. Cheers! Yeah, let's Cheers. enjoy ourselves! <laughs> now let's get drunk! <laughs> Make a decision like that. This little bird is no less capable than her brother. <laughs> all is well, all is well. Right. But Sparkle! how you know someone, my gray-haired friend? I put a bomb on this ship. You have to find better her. When did this get shoved into my hands? There are still so many bombs. Are you fucking serious? 
I can't uh, handle this. Yeah, of course there was a plot I'm twist. I was. Group and inform everyone. What was it about the bomb? We well, got a problem, friends. There's a minute to bomb the ship. What's happening? Keep reporting about the bomb. It's all thanks to this Max Full. Miss Book will explain the decision personally. <gasps> Duh! Tain yourself in, huh? How do you show yourself to this group? Time for us to take the election. Shut up, they can't do the internet and try to catch me. Oh, but that's a business. Is there any fashion bags yet? What Miss Sparkle spots in the conference already? What the bomb turn still activate? Actually, all criticals are brave house. Thanks! Okay. Are you guys. Are you guys done talking? I want to read the whole thing! Could I read the whole thing? Thank you! Actually, I'm gonna go to a brave house. They did a little effort getting the buttons. Miss Spoke was able to press all of them by one. Miss Spoke was silly walking her feet on the balls, pressing through the whopping 100,000 buttons, and she spent a whole 46 hours on it. What the fuck is this one with you? Do not be crass, my silver cowboy. It's fuck, dude! You said it one! Being silent with the others. Your picture is received, of course. You still doubt the Miss Sparkle's luck. I don't know why, but there were a total of 60,537 estimating Dream Smashers who vowed to help Miss, Miss Sparkle's build. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna wait. Done! You don't speak I'm just sitting here waiting! Uh. Um, I'm waiting. This is all too quick for me to wee all at once, you know? Are they done texting? Even Tall Pass is here. Even adventuring. Bets! <laughs> Why would you bet that, dude? I'm gonna read the whole thing now. Uh, okay, we said we were at that. Anyways, the bomb is smoke as the cousin ship is hidden among nine ninety nine dolls. You bias people will surely find one of the real bombs hidden. Good luck. How many? Don't panic. We'll deal this together. Everyone, please don't make any comments to cause any panic. I'll arrange for the family members to prick for But we still have to on you all to find the defuse of the bomb. The Oak Fairy has always been on the street of orders to give everyone that death know the cousin dreams. But the pussy of orders are now lost. It's a case maybe on them. I agree. If anyone finds anything, please update the group promptly. The pretty is duty bound. The IPC will be left a tier. Don't worry, anyone. Wanna bet who survived this? Okay. And he just left. Let's go! <laughs> All set. Let's start following the plan. Alright. Uh, map details. The function below is the map details. I mean, I. Right. One button. Um, okay. So, there's one in the ass. It's here, so it's here, song, Will. Where is it? Mm, that doesn't look like it, though. Oh, hold up. Let me double check again. Because this right here looks like it goes to. That's a quick bit again. It's here somewhere. These people don't even know. <gasps> hey, we found the first one. Let's investigate. It looks adorable. What is this? Posing as a bomb. <laughs> you sound pretty glazed. I mean, if this is a doll, I would definitely buy it. You are not going to get kill designs, are you? Do I give a shit? What's what's three? Really that I'm not even a real bomb. Was it surprising, shocking, horrifying? No. Really? Fine. That's too bad then. Really, I'm allergic to grow over. The cobs of the dog finally falls silent. You open up more like a tail apart to do the sound cool, and I'm finding the truth nature. A mere toy could be more speaker. Oh my god. More waiting. The pause with the bomb situation. I got good news and bad news. Which one would you like to go first? Bad news and then good. 
<laughs> emoji the balance is I found one and don't want bombs. The good news is not that all real bombs. The mask one will know how to pull a stunt. Don't worry, pausing me is also a positive soft telly. Therefore the fight is underway here. The blowholes are hot on the inter keep it up everyone. At least I made some progress. Gotta keep working at it. Yeah, we got we got this. They got it. Uh oh well one button every time. The next one's on the side. Um, if that's on the sun, it's on the left or right side. Okay, let's check here. And it's not right here. Then the next one. Oh, is it a chill? Hold on, before I check that. Yeah, no, not here. Another one! The food doll is a sparkly overlooked. According to the book, Complete the Sparkle Value is modern to cup plenty of times. The term's formula was first created in 2005 AE on the Sparkle Pen in the Sparkle Style system. Its original meaning is fluffy. Nowadays, the input of Sparkle Play often use formal, swiftly to refer a plush doll. In other words, formal doll translates to fluffy doll 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 doll. It may sound particular, but considering its sparkle origin, it's actually made lots of sense. The formal doll is staying right at you. Stales back. The boy could do the still right at you. Could do the spill back. <laughs> Never blinks. Honestly, if it did, it would be quite unsettling. Anyway, it's just the only pleasure. Can you believe really it's a single word? Keep staring at it. It must have pointed out that the doll has no sussy features at all. Uh, it seems from within the area of uh, a former doll, not that it's an imaginary natural bomb. Which means there is no need to buy it anymore. It may probably be the doll appeal, but the pitiful. It's best to probably pull it into its fears. <sighs> And look what I got so far. <laughs> Daga Rabu! I give up. What's more super? I found two who would one. Talking doll. <laughs> what? Laughing at him? And that's after I got help from the house. And that man was pleasant head. Who knows when we found them all? You're looking for the outfit. That's a shame. Knowing that fool happens, I'm afraid we're going to have to keep flooding through this one answer. Don't fret. The pity will guide us. One big one of boot heel. Okay, we found the next one. Oh, but the next one is right here. We meet again. I am Panacone's famed detective. Got yourself into a pickle? I'm more than happy to help. But unfortunately, I'm preoccupied with a couple of unsolved cases. So, you'll have to wait your turn. Uh, uh, just the bump in your hand. Dr. Boom is the Soul Glad Factory Arson case. We found a hammer, a doll, and half a liter of unidentified fluid at the scene of the crime. Our forensic results show it's a red herring. The second case is the Blue Hour Auction Robbery. A gang of masked thugs broke in, stole a fragment of the Astral Express, and left behind a large hammer, a doll, and a half dead red herring at the scene. Those are all the details. The way I see it, there must be a link between these two cases that will be the key to exposing Dr. Boone. I trust in your deduction. Which piece of evidence do you think is the deciding? Mm. Uh, it's you! You were the both crime scene. Correct answer! You're just a great hair. Your mind is pretty sharp. Seeing as you've put in so much effort, I'll throw you a bone. The bone's not here. This is only a prank I have craftily set up. Hurry, time's running out. You better find that real bomb quickly. Sparkle voice faded, leaving behind a doll body buzzing despite noise. It seems the pitiful doll was transferred into a megaphone by Spikle. Am I keeping them one by one? Um, I guess. My friend, I've been shouting news. That's about it. The doll is expecting dangerous. I found one of adorable dolls, but they uh, they they thought they were the full of bombs. Is it really not a troll or something? No matter what, please be patient, everyone. I have a feeling that as long as our vision's patients can proceed, Edward will succeed her vision. We, even the most difficult of problems will be resolved. Mr. Edward is right. Everyone, don't let your guard down. Oh, okay. Next. Okay, we find that. So, the next one is out there on the ship. Ooh, time to run that way. Listen to this donkey song. Um, okay. Are they on the outskirts? Oh, oh, they're downstairs. 
downstairs or upstairs? Yeah, downstairs. To be sure, and there's one. Okay. Spuggle! If I could, I would do this to you and be like, nope, you're gone. And investigate. What? Uh, enough talk. Let me just use this fucking bomb. Keep your shirt on. A watch talk never boils. I'm on to you. You're here because you accepted bribes from the complicitous and corrupt leader of that sparkle gang. The gang who wants to become mayor of Sparkle City. Raven Bro! This evil city has fallen into depravity. As the sheriff does, I cannot idly stand by and do nothing. And now. Only this imaginary neutron bomb can completely cleanse Sparkle City of your ilk. If you wish to defeat me, you'll have to face off against the great Sparkle's dogs. They're my fiercely loyal companions, and you'll never defeat them. Oh, we are actually fighting these guys. I mean, they're pretty weak. I don't see any problems. Sing, Wob! Hey, we got fire with us too. The harmony will soon play in unison. <gasps> Ouch. You're more so Teddy Marsh, you serious? <laughs> Should I got a shield ready? You can't run. I guess because of armor. Okay, let's smash you over. <laughs> Fist hit. Give yourself a shield help. because you are suckling and you're dying too, so I'm going to you too. Deep webs, you'll be okay. Try that again. You can't run. I think you fucked up. Mm, I should attack these and start freezing them. Gotta try hard sometimes. A duck! Check out this awesome move. <laughs> okay, we got it. Uh, most of them are up. Try that again. This will be a slow puzzle in the meantime, people, because I got only fire on my team. I mean, for fire. You have the worst luck running into me. Shoot again. Right there will I give you a present? Commencing research. Um, let's get this one. Yeah, it hurts. Now, this will be a while until book the ass. Shut him down. You attack the child. You're annoying. And you attack the Try that again. And why not? Together. Ow. You can't run. Someone's getting fist. Yeah, let's do this. Stomp on with your heels. Uh, no, sure. I'm not gonna do the ass yet. Wobble is almost ready. I'm gonna do that next. You can't attack me. Sure. What the fuck you do to me? Get fist up! Okay, Wobble Heart is almost ready. And now you attack the idol. Listen to the final song of life. The harmony will soon play in unison. Okay, that's ready. Sing. Shall embrace you freeze and fire. Tonight, the stars echo because of me. Rise up and try hard sometimes. Freeze them! Check out this awesome move. Okay, that's I nice. Fireflies to a I will Until everything burns to ashes! Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you dead. She has some HP, I didn't, I didn't know that. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. Extra damage. Skill points? Smack! 
My girls, we did it. You took some time. Yeah, thank you, my fans. The show of doll let our last sign with the exquisite acting, Fergie Death. Unfortunately, the imaginary neutron bar isn't here. It's best to look elsewhere. Uh, hi, well, guys. The evidence is special if it's in team is up here. We found a total of 329 dollars, but no bomb. Though so I dropped this update with you guys. If you guys can do anything about it, holy fucking shit balls! This is going to be a killer! Don't give up! We're so close to 9999! These pressure is always about to be done. Keep on good work, everyone. I'll be taking up with the exact team now. Good luck, everyone. Now, the last one ugh, happens to be in the front area. I think I went to. Oh, it was up there somewhere. I'm gonna teleport there because. Is this even what the last one is? Wait. What? Is it right here? No, that's one of the buds. Uh, so what? So you're the origami bird now then? No. Flicks the twin point and vanish the sky of dreamscape. A sight much more thrilling than the organic bird. As for the golden sparkle tree, forget it about it. Most likely just some random basher that sparkle be made of. And it popped. Okay. Goodness, we found that many more than 72 dolls here, but there's also just dolls. What's going on? That girly playing a fast one on us. Mountain I see everyone. Miss Sparkle's the thing that Ava is busy with us over here, and so she had me deliver a message. I knew it. I knew this matter wouldn't be so simple. You got some prices, Grey Hair. Miss Sparkle is pleased. Oh, wait, love jokes. Miss Sparkle said the missing is super important, so listen up. There are actually $1,000 for the winning festival to win for every effort. Miss Sparkle has decided to go many first. She will get the clothes to the founder of the bomb to everyone. This time, I'll allow everyone to see the minute, but let's try to hurry up, eh? Sometimes we just go and do a few slow pokes. At Robin? Uh, why did you attack Robin? I can't even go up. I'm just gonna click so fast and this will be the whole thing. Dude, 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 dude. Okay, there you go. <gasps> Make sure you don't want him to know that. I'm friendly, but over putting has been wondering unless do you. How you can move out while saving heroes? Evan, don't be mystery about applicating prank. We'll get oh, we'll get after the court duration. One more cash. Well didn't teach you a lesson. She will never soon forget. Yeah, Not much. much time left. I hope I make it. Yeah, I'm just gonna teleport all the way over there. So I won't have to walk around. <gasps> firefly! Oi! If you're not Firefly, I'll be upset if you're not Firefly! 28 minutes, 46 seconds. 28 minutes, 45 seconds. Uh, you're here. Uh, uh, you were also here by the Masked Fool? My wife? The Masked Fools? <gasps> So this really was their doing. Since you're here, I'll just keep it short. Just over half an hour ago, I received a message from an unknown sender and rushed here as soon as I could. 27 minutes, 52 seconds. 27 minutes, 51 seconds. The sweet dream has lost the protection of the order. If it were to blow up here, the consequences would be unfathomable. I've scrutinized it for a long time, but the bomb's design is incredibly unique. As if it's been locked by some mysterious path force. Apart from its creator, I fear no one knows how to deactivate it. Hmm. Uh. Mommy, I don't want to die. I gonna say that to Firefly? I mean. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, I know. Calco's not here. Actually, 
There might be another way. Do you still remember? The script said that I will experience death three times in the Land of Dreams. I think this moment heralds the third time. <gasps> Uh, oh, come on. I mean, it's a dream. Well, we'll be okay. She'll be okay. And I'll give you a kiss. We come back to reality. Like I said earlier. Now that's the time for plot twist. You may already know that I have no way of evoking dreams. I employ a Stellaron Hunter special method in order to enter dreams instead. This allows me to perform feats that typical dream chasers can't. As long as I can bear the pain of the Memoria pressure, I'll be able to dive into the primal memory zone beyond the dream and extend a lifeline to the Radiant Feldspar. I will take this bomb into the depths of the dreamscape, as deep as possible where there are no living souls around. That way, at least no one will get hurt. Hmm... Um... The mana can just be left to the Stellar One Hunters. Don't worry. I believe that this Firefly armor will be enough to take me to where I need to go before the countdown ends. And maybe even make it back safely. At so present, sad. this is so our sad. best and most logical course of action. After all, a long story deserves a happy ending. I have some words to share with you, though they were spoken to me by Miss Acheron. She said that the so-called impossible is merely something that is yet to happen. At the moment, there are so many things that seem impossible, but are they really never going to happen? Maybe it's just that the moment to disprove these impossibilities hasn't arrived yet. Whether it be a literal ending, suffering akin to death, or a harrowing deathscape. Before the appointed destination arrives, they are all the same. Yet I can still make Mary had choices. I also firmly believe that that when that moment arrives for us to make a choice, the answer to our end will already be within our hearts. It is not destiny that shapes us, but we who shape destiny. The Astral Express and the Stellaron Hunters are like light and shadow. Let me come with we you. We walk on different paths, intertwined, moving forward and growing together. Maybe the end is predestined, but it is not today. Since things are going too well, let's speed up the countdown. They're like, fuck! Human life is short. Just like fireflies to a flame. So if you have an answer in your heart, always remember, don't leave with any regrets. Ah, uh, we're praying for her. This right. Don't we? We are praying for her. Look, is my wife still alive? Was that really a bomb? Oh, just fireworks. She just did for us. <laughs> Since you care so much about other people's safety, why don't you go take a closer look? You killed my wife! I'll beat your ass! You just blocked me away? What the fuck is that? You see? Oh, she lived. Okay, she lived. <laughs> of course she did. We each came here with our own goals. Well, what do you realize them in unimaginable ways? Lordy hands. If the result was a sweet illusion or a bitter reality, it was an answer we longed for day and night. So, why do people choose to slumber? I think it's as you said. Because in the end, we will wake up from our dreams. Oh, I love that's a good ending right there. Oh, Aka was watching from a distance. She saw the explosion? I didn't see her in a while, actually. When I arrived, I happened to see a child holding it. 
He said the flowers were prepared by Aunt Jessie for the watchmaker and the war comrade he'd missed his whole life. Mikhail would place two bunches of flowers here year after year. And after he left, it became three. Your wishes will always be remembered by someone. Now, Panacone, as you hoped, has welcomed the dawn after a long, dark night. The path forward may not be a bed of roses, but at least people are prepared to step forth towards freedom. Tiernan, you can go home now. While the Nameless are also preparing for the next stop of their voyage. Hey, we came for you. But before leaving, we still have one last thing to do. Oh, what? Uh, we're, we're keen to say goodbye to our old nameless. A fitting end to the tale of the departed. One could not ask for a better farewell. Go on. They're all here. As ghost. And the last one? Okay, let's start with the first one that's so close by. Alright. Um, now be well. Honestly, when I heard the conductor's request, I was pretty surprised. The nameless. Those who trailblaze, doing good deeds but never seeking recognition. After all this time, how would we even find those three people in such a vast place like Penacony? But it seems, in the land of the dreams, anything is indeed possible. History may not remember the names of the dead, but the stars will attest to their journeys. The first glimmer of light in the prolonged night often illuminates little, as it is fleeting and the darkness too vast. But because of this, people will remember. As long as something shines in the night sky, then when the first star falls, countless more will follow, streaking across the horizon. A toast. Brooklyn Tiernan, Rosalina J. and Estella, we raise a toast well, to Well, put our hands on our chest. Trailblazers of the Silver Rail. A toast to history that no longer remains silent. The passionate and courageous pursuit and a voyage that traverses the stars. Okay, that's one down. Next is this dog. Well, that statue. It wasn't here last time. Looks like this is the last riddle that Mr. Gallagher left for us. In the end, we still failed to figure out his true identity, or if he was even a living person. Uh, what should I say? I mean, this guy is definitely a history fictionologist, all right. I'm suddenly reminded of the time at the theme park when he said he was only 13 years old. Could that have meant something too? Either way, he's an enigmatic character for sure. At least our journey together in Panacone was real enough. And his loyalty and love for this land must have been real too, right? A toast to him. Gallagher, we raise a toast to you, the slumbering hound, to the festival's invitation, to all lies and the singular truth. If we ever meet again, please don't talk in riddles. Hmm, if we ever meet now, last location is so far away from us. What the hell is standing? Oh, and never mind. Is the Astro Express ready to depart Pentagon? Oh yeah, that's Mikhail. The other one is down there. That's Apologies, Misha. Mr. Mika, that we are only now bidding you farewell. Oh, that's all right. You've all done so much for the Watchmaker, and we are forever indebted. Allow me, as the representative of Dreamflux Reef, to make another toast to all the nameless. What will the people of Dreamflux Reef do now? Many will continue to live here. Those accustomed to being awake will mostly have a hard time getting used to a life of darkness with their eyes closed. Though the order has faded, there must be someone to watch over this primal memory zone. <sighs> Penacone's nights are long, and there are many who are still far from a good night's sleep. As for the sweet dream over there, <laughs> we're still managing without it, aren't we? A toast to you. 
Mika, and residents of Dreamflux Reef, we raise a toast to you. Watchers of the long dream. To your tenacity throughout time, to each sorrowful night, and to the dawn that is finally upon us. Okay, one last person. Mikhail. The one who died. <laughs> In the end, we still came full circle. This trailblazing expedition started from the moment you and a bellboy ran into each other. After going on a journey of many twists and turns, they still ended up where they started, just like a clock's hands that turn round and round. The start and end of each day will always land on 12 o'clock. The advent of time moving forward, there shouldn't be much left to say. This entire adventure started because of you, and should naturally end with you. And then, a new page will be turned. A toast. Mikhail Char Legwork, we raise a toast to you. Watchmaker of the land of the dreams, nameless of the Astral Express, to Penacony's past, present, future, and the child's unwavering dream unto death. Okay, that's With it. With that, our duty as nameless should be complete, right? The trailblaze can illuminate the way. But ultimately, the future of a world belongs to those who live in it. Uh, I still feel that Mr. Mikhail must have really wanted to witness this day himself. What's on your mind, March? Just a strange feeling. I had it a few stops ago, but it's super strong this time. Why not talk about it? Maybe everyone's thinking the same thing. Maybe. Go I ahead. I can't help but think that whether it's Mr. Mikhail, Mr. Tiernan, or Madame Rosalina, their lives must have been long, and they must have experienced plenty of stories. They were also young once. Stumbling and bumbling around just like us. Getting into scraps and mischief. That sort of stuff. Companions, enemies, journeys, adventures. All the sad and happy memories. The every day that we're used to. They've lived through them too. But those things are all in the past. Hmm. Hmm. Time will wash it away, so treasure the present. I know. But the thing that I can't get out of my mind is the present. It'll be easier to understand if I use an analogy. Like when you're reading a book. If one of its characters keeps running into obstacles and experiences an ending full of regrets. We're bound to feel a bit mixed about it, right? Hmm. Mm. You won't be affected by as long as you don't live virtuously through them. To me, it's because we've seen every nook and cranny of their lives. We see these people as special. So... Even if there are parts of it that aren't really realistic, nor logical, we still hope that their story gets a good ending when it comes. But what if they... and we... aren't really that special? When Mr. Mikhail sat in this chair, waiting for the Astral Express to arrive every day, what was he thinking? And if, at the end of his life, he could still firmly say he had no regrets, then, what is this regret we feel in our hearts right now? Hmm. I think each and every one of us is searching for the answer to this very question. The universe is vast, and our lives are but specks. The trailblaze never ends. But against the backdrop of the cosmos, the average person's lifelong journey is merely a short stretch. But it is in this minuscule distance that paths cross and countless worlds connect. The universe may not remember every person who leaves a tie along the silver rail, but we will. As long as we remember, their stories will never end. 
And what Mr. McHale has left for us is his answer to this very question. It may not be perfect, but it left a smile on this story, jaded old nameless's face at the end of his life. And its meaning will be interpreted by those who come after us. It's not the answer that's important, but what we can learn from others' answers, right? This is what trailblazing is. Sure. Uh, I'm really sorry for bringing down the vibe. Quick, Don Hung, tell us a dad joke to lighten the mood. What? I don't think he would. No, okay, of course he won't. That's not funny. <laughs> she tried. It's never a bad thing to reflect. One day we'll all have to face our own farewells. That's true. But before that... We still have a long way ahead of us, together. So the most important thing right now is to tell the conductor what we saw in Penacony. Yeah. Then prepare ourselves for our next trailblazing destination. And I should get back to the Express. Or maybe I can say my final goodbye to Acheron. <gasps> and she's down there! You don't know girl? Acheron! Oh, there she is. Akawan, hey. Do you still remember when we first arrived in Panakoni? Who would have thought our paths would cross in such a way? Hmm. Who exactly are you? Come to think of it, I didn't even get a chance to formally introduce myself. Simply put, I'm a self-annihilator who was cursed by the Nihility. My hometown was destroyed a long time ago, and the whole world was erased beneath their shadow. In order to fight against the cruel end of self-destruction, I went on a journey in search of a way to sever the chains of the Nihility. After a long and grueling search, I am convinced that my destination lies within the depths of the Dark Web, where reality and the Nihility are separate. In there lurks a secret called Device Nine. One day, I'll reach it. Will we meet again? The ocean of stars is vast. And given our destinations, I'm afraid our paths may not cross again. But the trailblazing expedition ahead is always full of unknowns. And my blade is sharp enough to sever fate. As long as we maintain our original resolve, I believe there will come a day where we will meet again. Have he ever met before? Ah. In that case, I must apologize for my rudeness. Do you remember when we first met? I once said you reminded me of an acquaintance. Because of the self-annihilator's curse, my memories are stripped away, blurring my past. And after our journey together, what I originally thought were familiar feelings were merely illusions. I believe this was truly our first meeting. Hmm. Ooh. Let's see. What if this was an illusion? What do you mean? It's improbable that you've crossed paths with my past self. What I mean is, there is nothing left to retrace there. Only nihility. Okay. I think I'm seeing someone like you. I see. You've also had a similar experience? Then you should know that this me and your memory of me are not the same person. Okay. Uh, but some things will never change. <laughs> Long ago, I too was like you, with irreplaceable companions. We also embarked on journeys, making the best choices we could Unfortunately, we didn't achieve the outcome we wanted. But moments like this... make me feel like they never even left. In this universe, there exist countless worlds that are similar yet different. And countless people who are alike yet distinct. I too have wandered alone. Encountering acquaintances on strange worlds. Seeing their silhouettes overlap with my past. In your opinion, what does this déjà vu mean? Hmm. Uh, a longing for a s actually no, perhaps some sort of sentimental attachment. A 
attachment, desire, longing. They may all be right, but they are all incomplete. I believe it's not something external, but something that originates within us. An emotion that traverses time from a certain moment of our past to reach us. Perhaps it's a source of warmth and happiness. Or maybe it brings pain and sorrow. Each time we reminisce on our past, we always seem to notice a tiny but unforgettable instant that we left behind us. Along with certain other things that remain constant throughout. That is a summary of our lives. Encapsulating everything about us in these moments. Proof of our shared path. Within them, we glimpse our own essence. And thus, we truly exist. Just like everyone in this story. Hurtling onwards along the path of destiny with passion and courage for the things that breathe meaning into their lives. Set forth on your voyage without hesitation, Nameless. On the path of the trailblaze. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. But before that, on the road towards the end, there are still many things that we can do. And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. This is the meaning of journey. All those things, beautiful before, are still so now. And I believe it will still bloom at the end of the nihility. Until we meet again beneath the sun's rays. A good one singing looking at that. Oh shit. That's the old one. Um, oh, you good? Okay, you good? <laughs> Papa, what happened? You need a hug? Papa and Pa needs a hug. There, there. Chin up, Pom Pom. Don't be sad. Uh, don't cry. Wow. Your method of consolation is truly unsophisticated. Still better than just standing there like a scarecrow. Hmm. Is Moish Peck picking on Pom Pom again? Huh? Why did you say that? And <laughs> while you're here, why don't you help me comfort Pom Pom? His mood changed completely awesome when I said that. We told Pom Pom all about our adventure, and they suddenly started crying. I've never seen Pom Pom so sad before. <laughs> the conductor never cries. Pom Pom is never sad. Pom Pom is just, just, just angry. Yeah, angry. No matter where the express stops, you lot always manage to cause chaos. My well thought out timetable completely ignored. If you carry on like this, the express is gonna run out of fuel! That's right! Pop Pop is just angry! It's not because of Fisha, Tiernan, Rosalina, and the rest! <laughs> it's okay. Oh, Pom Pom, just let it all out. Everyone, could you all take a break in the next car? Don't worry. I'll stay here with Pom Pom. But. Let's go, March. Hold your hands. Talk to the whole crew, like. Uh huh. You guys go ahead. Okay. So now we're here on the sideways. I never expected Pom Pom would be so distraught. Those three nameless must have meant a lot to Pom Pom. No one knows exactly when Pom Pom boarded the express, but one can surmise that their journey has been filled with many hellos and goodbyes. Probably more than we can imagine. The fact that they're crying so hard is probably a good sign. It proves that Pom Pom's emotions haven't become dulled by the grind of time. They still deeply cherish every nameless who has boarded the Express and value every journey shared with them. Leave it to Himako. When it comes to comforting, there's no one better on the Express. Pom Pom said we might want out of fuel. <laughs> Well, they were a little emotional at the time, but 
I'm afraid that's not out of the question. Since you joined us, the Express has stayed longer than anticipated at every stop along the way. And to ensure that everyone always makes it back on board, Pom Pom has had no choice but to delay the warp jump schedule. I see. <laughs> no wonder I can regularly hear Pom Pom pacing anxiously up and down the corridor. Turns out Pom Pom's been silently putting in a lot of work for us. Wow. Different from typical vehicles, the Astral Express converts every trailblaze into the energy it needs to run. Ideally, as long as trailblazing expeditions continue without interruption, the Express will receive a constant flow of energy, much like a perpetual motion machine. But, because of our previous encounters, fuel is being used up much faster than expected. We can probably only pull off two more warp jumps at most. Only two more? Isn't that super risky? Oh, I don't want to become an ice cube floating around in space again. Hmm. At least you'll be the adorable ice cube. When you put it like that, it doesn't actually sound too bad. Really? I thought you'd be like, hey, the fuck, boy, I thought you were making fun of me again. But I don't even want to become an adorable ice cube floating around in space again. Which also means that we must prudently consider our next destination. Yes, uh, I've already checked the astral charts. The two nearest worlds to us are the oceanic planet of Lushaka and the agate world Melustanen. As for which one we're headed to, that still requires a vote. Or perhaps you might consider a suggestion. Black Swan! Everyone, we meet again. Uh, it's you! Why were you just in my room? Hmm. It's a very cute room, Miss March. Just like you. Hmm. I knew we were missing someone. Like, hold up, woman. Mid, I mean. Memo Keeper, let's put aside how you managed to sneak past everyone and board the Express for now. You mentioned a suggestion. I accidentally overheard how the Express obtains fuel. I just wanted to chat with everyone to see if we could work together. But now, it appears my suggestion could be the very lifeline that saves everyone. Please speak candidly. Depending on what you say, we could very well ask you to disembark. Ah, oh, the permanence is descendant. What a charming little dragon, especially with those mired memories of yours. But I digress. If the Astral Express is in urgent need of a special trailblazing expedition to recharge its engine, have you all considered this? Perhaps your destination could be a world that even the renowned Aki Vili never reached. Should you be able to lay down a new stretch of silver rail, the Express may never have to worry about energy ever again. Trailblazing to a world that even Aki Vili has never been to? Is that possible? Continue, Memo Keeper. This destination of which you speak, what sort of world is it? A world that many across the universe don't even know exists. A world hidden away from outside observation. Its presence only revealed by the light from the mirror of the Garden of Recollection. A world fettered by three paths. Its destiny hanging in the balance. The Eternal Land. Amphorius. Ooh. Are we going there next? I hope I'm not too late, child. I wasn't expecting it to be you. Ooh. Don't you know how many sentry posts the family has built? And how hard it is to get you out of here? <laughs> Looks like my time's up. What do you mean? What time? Negotiation, interrogation, or death. My fate lies entirely in your hands. Lady Bona Jade, the dance is done. Why bother with the compassionate pretense and give someone who's about to die the chance to talk? Despite your fall from grace, you still look well. 
I'm very glad to see that you're so full of verve. <sighs> Do not insult my pride with half-veiled sarcasm. Have you specially come to see me just to sate your vile vanity? Oh, of course not. I merely came to fulfill your younger sister's wishes, to offer you a generous trade. That is, if you're willing to accept. Robin? To build a true haven where everyone can attain peace. That's the oath between you siblings, isn't it? If I told you there was still a chance to realize this vow, would you be willing to talk to me then? <laughs> I recognize the gravity of this question, which is why you don't have to answer me right now. Go now. You are free, O oh Chosen One, who dare to exceed his bounds. Sever your wings, descend to the mortal realm, and walk their lands. See what this world is truly like. I will not accept your charity. As I mentioned earlier, it's a trade, and you don't have to give me an answer right now. Rewards are not reaped in a day, and if there's one thing I'm best at, it's waiting. The sweet dream still continues, and the night is still long. You have plenty of time to contemplate your answer. Ah, a word of advice for you before we part ways. A word of warning from someone who's been in your shoes before. Life is too short to miss out on golden opportunities. Oh, now that's complete. Okay, so, physical vacation. Booty! And we got Wobby, and we got Sparkle! And next one. How many f Oh my god, that's a lot of visits I gotta go through. So, is that it? Or is there actually gonna be more? Well, companion story quest. Cool, that's so cool, don't you think? Uh, please, just leave me alone! Bitch! Don't touch anymore, I don't want probably to get more of an idea. Think you can chemist me? Well, you just step on a chewing gum, I'll stick to you forever. By the way, Miss Smoker hasn't even filled her moves yet, aren't you curious? Not interested! I'm going blind, catch you later. No, don't go blind, please, please! I'm uh, just kidding, let's get back to business. Do you remember this proper three details? What's that got to do with you? Who knows? All I can say is that someone paid a hefty sell high Miss Poker as the director at Pentacorn. Seems like a friend she made with Gaming. The client told Miss Poker to, to make sure that three deaths happened to sit this little way as possible. In return, they shared their script with Miss Poker. And that happened next where a sword queen will, like you can surely guess, Grey Hale. However, Miss Sparkle is in some control freak. She let the actor decide how the sword would unfold the silk. Surprise question, don't you press the more institution button that Miss Sparkle gave you? Bitch, I did it. No, that bird seems way too sus. Mm, you're a cautious one, huh? But no worries, since more have to actor press the button, the third did one thing ever played. She saw up the sky and set the most epic fire prank has ever seen, keeping her going far after the beautiful dream. And she herself was safe and sound happy as ever Everything ever. So, congratulations, is great here. After all, you're the one who made the call actually save the firefighter girl. And that means Miss Sparkles will get paid as promised. Oh, by the way, the celebrity the sister grandfather, Miss Sparkles, had decided to share another secret you great here. <sighs> what is it? You know what? Actually, Dr. Pooh is a huge fan of bananas. What do you mean? Important announcement. Uh, mm, what's getting wager? We're going to getting wager after this. Awesome. Setting no, that's not been planned yet. The budget of the next dispatch has been set to manage so by imagine the time being. It then needs some among individual passengers, however, you can come apply for additional allowance from me. Speaking from which, why doesn't Miss Yang ever seem to worry about money? You seeing is the exception by envious young man. She said, You guys saw that? Exceptional? You must be secretly sucking his dick by secretly. I am 
come to business, the thing I want to tell you that is that Express will soon be one of the sale of the Pericode Collocated. The plan the FC will begin formal negotiations soon going to the Dreamscape, which is a plan and commercial project for the future. After the while, the investment of the FC will hold the business up to the sale, and the strategy is best in the point of the sale is significantly boom for us. When the finance is done, the IPC will charge for 5% of the stock to Astro Express to express their sincerity and to plan the long term partnership with the nameless. Wow, I don't know how much the shares of team. It sounds pretty good. I'm more curious about how future bills will be calculated. Only 5%? Hey, it's only 5%. Kelly, your finance seems pale with March 7th. Hey! As the street trip is nameless, we come with a response to Shell regarding this to equipment. A shareholder, as shareholders of the Pentacle Color military, we must bear the duty of being branded as separate and endorse the plan of festivities. We're no longer deployed with the proper path of harmony. Okay, time to reveal my shareholder power. It was a myth. Wait, no. It's time to remember our names. Oh, it seems like the color is full of energy. Hey, what are you doing? Let him be, much. I can tell his vision from the world's type. We cannot stop him. This is like a um, for the event, I'm guessing, right? Oh, well, I'm gonna have Like, subscribe, I'll see you later. Sorry, man.